Now, in physics, speed is a really interesting topic and it comes up all the time. The speed of an object is really a measure of how quickly its distance is changing per second. And therefore, if you wanted to maybe calculate the average speed of something, we need to maybe look at the total distance it's travelled and the time it's taken to do that. And there's a really good equation that will come up all the time that you just have to remember. So in this equation, we've got the link between the distance travelled, the speed of an object and how long that's taken. So the distance, uh, we confusingly don't really use d for distance, we use s for distance and also s for displacement. Speed isn't an s, but speed is a v. And we also use v for velocity, and then we multiply that by the time taken, which is t. But to be honest, this is okay, but it's not the most useful way of actually thinking about this equation. A better way is thinking that speed is equal to the distance travelled divided by the time taken. The reason that's useful is because if we think about our distance travelled, this is measured in metres and our time is measured in seconds. And then this gives rise to our speed in metres per second, the amount of distance travelled per unit time. So the normal unit for velocity is metres per second. However, in everyday life, we tend to very rarely talk about metres per second. We talk about maybe kilometres per hour or miles per hour. So all of these things are just the rate at which a distance is changing. So this equation here, speed equals distance divided by time, is so incredibly useful when it comes to all of GCSE and even A-level physics. And a final thing about speed, it's useful to remember a couple of kind of typical speeds. I mean, the speed of sound is about 330 metres per second, so that's really quick. If I'm just walking along though, every second I go about another one and a half metres. If I was jogging, I'd be travelling at about three metres per second. And if I was on my bike, I'd be travelling at about six metres per second. So every second I travel another six metres.